Hello kids, in this video, we will learn about the rate chart and the bill. Today, Appu has come to Bunny's stall to buy gifts for his friend. Appu first asked Bunny the price of the mask. Bunny told him that one mask is for 12 rupees. Appu asks for three masks from him. Bunny told him that three masks would be for 36 rupees. Appu was shocked. He did not understand how Bunny found this out. Children, do you know how Bunny found this out? The price of one mask is 12 rupees. If we want to know the cost of three masks, then what process can we use? Absolutely right! The process of multiplication. 3 times 12 is 36. In this way, the cost of 3 masks becomes 36 rupees. Children, if we know the value of a unit of any item, then we use the process of multiplication to find the price of its units. Now, Appu saw beautiful cap on Bunny's stall. He saw one such board next to the cap. The price of each item available at Bunny's stall was written on the board. Children, have you seen any such board in a shop? This is a rate chart. We can see the price of one piece of each item. Appu has to buy two caps. Now, Appu is thinking that the price of one cap is 7 rupees 50 paise. So, how much will two caps cost? Come, let us help Appu. First, we will write the price of a cap in rupees and paise in this way. Now, what do we need to do to find the price of two caps? Yes, we have to use the process of multiplication. First, we multiply the paise. So, multiply 50 by 2. So, how much money did that make? Exactly, 100 paise. Now, we will multiply the number 7 written in rupees by 2. That makes 14 rupees. But, how much rupees is 100 paise? Absolutely right, 1 rupee. Now, if we add the numbers of rupees and paise, then the value of two caps would be 14 plus 1 or 15 rupees, 0 paise. Bunny asks Appu if he wants to buy any other item, to which Appu denies. Bunny immediately wrote something on a slip and hands it over to Appu. After looking at the slip, Appu could not understand anything. Children, have you ever seen a similar slip before? We call it Bill. Whenever we buy items from any shop, the shopkeeper gives us one such bill. What do you see in a bill? Yes, the shop name is written like this at the top. List of purchased goods is written here. This is the rate per baggage. And here, the total cost of each item is written in rupee and paise. And in the end, is the total price of all these purchased items. 
can you tell how Bunny wrote this total price? Yes, to find out, Bunny has added the cost of three masks and two caps. If we add 15 to 36, how much do we get? Right, we get 51 rupees. Bunny explained the bill to Appu in exactly the same way. Now Appu gave 51 rupees to Bunny and happily returned to his house with the purchased items. Children, in this video, we learned about the rate chart and the bill. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. In the previous video, we learn about the rate chart and the bill. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Uncle gave Raju and Bablu 50-50 rupees for helping him get some goods from the market. Now there is a bet between Raju and Bablu that whoever buys the most number of items from his 50 rupees will be the winner. Now Raju and Bablu reached the Gaggu's shop. Such a board is installed on the shop of Gaggu on which the prices of goods are written. Children, do you remember what we call such a board? Absolutely right! Great chart! Raju purchased two pencils, two erasers, one pencil box from Gaggu. Children, can you fill the empty spaces in this well made by Gaggu? First, we will find the price of two pencils. The price of one pencil is 4 rupees 50 paise. So, how much will two pencil cost? First, we multiply the paisa number 50 by 2. So, how much money did that make? Alright! 100 paise. Now, we will multiply the number 4 in rupees by 2. And that would be 8 rupees. But, how much rupees is 100 paise? That's right! 1 rupee. Now, if we add paise and rupee, the value of two pencils will be 8 plus 1 or 9 rupees 0 paise. We will write it in the bill in this way. Children, can you now find the price of two erasers and write it in the bill? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids! You have found the answer right! Children, now how will we find out the total cost of goods? Yes! If we add 9, 7 and 32 rupees, then the total items will be priced exactly 48 rupees. Let us write it this way in the bill. In this way, how many items did Raju buy and in how many rupees? Yes! Raju bought a total of 5 items for 48 rupees. This is a bill for the purchased items of Bablu here. Can you complete it and find out 
whether Bablu bought less or more items than Raju? And how much money did he spend? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids! You have done it perfectly! Raju bought a total of 5 items for 48 rupees. And how many items did Bablu buy for how many rupees? Yes! Bablu bought 6 items for 50 rupees. In this way, Bablu won the bet. And see how he's happily dancing. Children, in this video, we learn more about rate charts and bills with some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to it. In the previous video, we learned more about rate charts and bills by some interesting examples. In this video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to it. Bhola and Sher Khan have come to Golu's dairy. They want to drink spice milk first. Golu has placed six bottles like this on a tray of spice milk. Sher Khan saw that Golu had written on that tray Masala milk rupees 10. He got excited. He immediately asked Golu for six bottles of spiced milk. Sher Khan and Bhola emptied their bottles of spiced milk with great fun. Now, Sher Khan gave 10 rupees for spiced milk to Golu. But Golu told him that he had taken 6 bottles of spiced milk. So, he would have to pay 60 rupees. Sher Khan was shocked to hear this. Children, can you tell who is correct between the two? Yes, Golu is right. Even though there were six bottles of spiced milk in the tray. The price he wrote was the price per bottle. In this way, if the price of one bottle is rupees 10, what will be the cost of six bottles? That's right! The price of six bottles will be 6 multiplied by 10 or 60 rupees. Golu explained this to Sher Khan and Sher Khan understood it. Now Bhola and Sher Khan want to carry two bottles of lassi and three bottles of almond milk for their friends. Golu gave him all the bottles and also made a will for the same at the same time. Children, can you see this well and tell if Golu has made it correctly? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done children! You have found the answer quite rightly. Golu calculated the amount of money while finding the total price of Lassi. But when he wrote 100 paise as 1 rupee, then he forgot to add it to the number 24. So, what should be the cost of 2 bottles of Lassi? Yes, 25 rupees. Children, now can you find the true value of total items? Well done children, you have found the answer correctly. Sher Khan and Bhola owe a total of 130 rupees to Golu. Bhola also found out 
the mistake of Golu's receipt like you did and gave him 130 rupees. Now Sher Khan and Bhola went to meet their friends with the bottles they bought. Children, in this video, we saw some misconceptions related to the rate chart and the bill.